Hello, I'm Thomas. I'm a lecturer in applied mathematics here in Leeds. And I want to tell you something about bouncing balls and the analysis of bouncing balls. Now, you probably know about bouncing balls like this one. And that's fairly easy to analyze. If I drop the ball from a certain height, then it will hit the ground at a certain speed, say u. It will bounce back up. It will leave the desk or the ground with a speed v, say and will reach a certain height again, and then the process continues. If the ball is quite bouncy like this one, then the initial height and the height after the bounce will be very similar. If the ball is not very bouncy at all, then the height after the bounce will be quite a bit lower. Now this is all quite simple and, and we can analyze this. There are equations for this. Today I want to look at something a little bit more complicated, which is known as the two ball bounce, and it works as follows. We've got two balls, a bigger one underneath the smaller one. And if I let them drop, then something more interesting happens. And this is what I want to analyze today. I'm not going to show you the experiment. And at the end, you will see why. So let me just make a little sketch of this experiment. For the two ball bounds, well, the starting situation is that we have a small ball on top of a big ball, and both of those balls drop. They will hit the ground and will bounce up again. Now, in between these two states, there's a hidden second collision. And this comes as follows. The air un or around the lower ball will perturb the fall of the upper ball. And so the balls will separate very, very slightly whilst they're falling down. So in between this state and this state, we have the following situation. We have a situation that the lower ball already hits the ground and bounces upwards, while the small upper ball still falls downwards. In this case, the two balls will approach each other. There will be a second collision, and this second collision leads to a more interesting analysis.